<laughs> Am I? <laughs> but uh, I want to be a black lesbian. <laughs> I, know, I was like, I got the same problems. Me and her, we we would have been the best of friends in high school. But, <laughs> we could have uh, <laughs> cruised with chicks together. Exactly. Yeah. Tell you, it's too bad they're not distributing this more widely because there'd be kids all over the world being, like, "Mommy, can I be a black lesbian?" <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny because how how unshocking the movie is, and yet it starts out where they're in a black lesbian club and the music that's playing, it's all about, it's just some hardcore rap about licking mm-hmm. pussy and it's just, <laughs> it's, it's almost like, when it first opened, I'm like, God damn, what am I watching here? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't they play some Katy Perry up in this place? Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> I like that music. <laughs> but, but yeah, hey, that's, what, that's what they play in those clubs. I, man. I, I, I didn't even know there was hardcore black lesbian rap. <laughs> There's a whole subculture <laughs> that has its own genre of music yeah. I was completely unaware of until this film. <laughs> well, it, 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 it makes them seem almost scary so when at first the mom is all like what are you doing why are you hanging out with her it's like almost that feeling like yeah you might want to watch that but then it doesn't take long before you go like you know what they're just kids trying to figure things out mom mm-hmm. why don't you stop being a bitch and leave them alone <laughs> Listen, I, th- I think one of the, the the accessibility of this that you can kind of put yourself into her shoes regardless if you're gay or straight or whatever is one of the advantages of this film one of the really the great things about it because it is selling you on just how plain normal this is it doesn't yeah. matter mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, it's really just another girl. Yeah. She's hey, she likes girls. So mm-hmm. fucking what? That has very little to do with the actual yeah. story. Which is great about the opening scene you were just talking about, Liam. How it's like they presented it to you on a surface level, where you're you're able to jump to your own conclusions about who this person is, what they're about, based on who she's hanging out with and the club she's going to with the with that damn crazy ass <laughs> rap music that they keep playing. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, as soon as they get involved with the story, as far as her, uh, the the kid and her parents. Um, you really see how, wow, you know, in some ways it's like she's hanging out with her friend because, you know, they have one thing in common. Right. But that's about it. And right. And where she seems just kind of lost. And that's what I really admired about uh, about the character and just the whole idea of this story. It's like it's just somebody who's like really lost trying to find acceptance, trying to find out exactly who she is and what she what she wants to stand for, what she wants to be, you know, as far as her growing up. And just uh, I was completely like enthralled throughout this whole thing, especially as soon as it gets into the aspects of her dealing, having to deal with her parents and especially with them trying to deal with it in their own ways, but in a very in a very realistic way to where, I mean, the mother in this movie, uh, wow, I hope she gets some kind of recognition for her role because, wow, you go from a living color to this serious, like, mom who's, like, gets upset with just with the idea of her daughter being lesbian. It's really, like, mind-blowing. Um, and seeing this actress, what was her name again? Kim Besides, Wayans? Uh, yeah. Uh, the, the mama. Yeah, Kim Wayans. Yeah, yeah. wow. She, she really floored me with, with her acting in this. Just because, yeah, there's a moment where you can't help but kind of despise her, just how she's acting. But in a way, y- you do understand. Just because of, I guess, the, the idea and, and the whole cultural aspect of it. How it's just not accepted. Because, I mean, they could have they made this about a Hispanic family or white family. And there, there's always going to be that one person yeah. who just doesn't agree with that lifestyle or what it stands for and what it what it could potentially do to, to their image you know? it's always the loudest member of a family <laughs> that's that true way I mean, mm-hmm. everyone else didn't get involved because oh, damn who wants to listen to them go on and on mm-hmm. and and even even to you know that the, the the credit of that character the mom as much as you hate her there's a, a bit of sympathy because you can see like other areas of her life are spinning out of control. Well, but, yeah, mm-hmm. she's in her her own relationship is shit. Her yeah. husband is a complete chauvinist. I mean, treats her like her opinion isn't worth shit. She needs to just shut up, get to the kitchen, and fix him. Well, dinner. it seems almost <laughs> obvious that he's got something going on on the side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, but but you know, there's no there's nothing to really confirm it. It's you know. It, it's one thing when you know that somebody's cheating on you, but it's another when you suspect it. It makes you crazy. Yeah. And that's where she is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're absolutely right. And even worse, like I said, she suspects that her daughter might be gay, but she can't even bring herself to say the word. So mm-hmm. she's just just kind of freaking out. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting performance from Kim Wayans, and I think it might be a, 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 might be a launching off point to a very different type of career for her. True. Uh, yeah, she got one, to answer your question, Carlos, she did in fact get nominated for Best Supporting Actress at the Black Reel Award. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, <laughs> whatever, better, whatever better, they are. Yeah. Better than the Nickelodeon Awards. Hey, even I, I haven't heard of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's just for Black Lesbian. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and the nominees. Yeah. Uh, the nominee. <laughs> the only nominee. <laughs> There's got to be another one. God damn it, directors. Right? We, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the Black Lesbian Film Festival. Did I miss that when it was coming uh, through may, may, Maybe they, 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 they keep nominating. What was that movie? Smoking Aces? <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it needs a portmanteau, like Blesbian or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh les back but uh yeah this uh <laughs> you know great so this i love when a movie is a, is a surprise like this when i come in going like oh i think i know what this is about and it floors me and can can hit me on such a level that's unassuming that's not trying to be too much but it's perfect at everything it does this is movies easily in my top 10 if not top five movies of this year i, I give it a better than sex wow Whoa. i really did feel that strongly about it wow Jeez. i didn't know i mean i liked it a lot too but i had no idea that you yeah. really were a black lesbian <laughs> yeah, dude. no i just like them <laughs> a lot you totally identify with being black and wanting to have sex with a woman there you go <laughs> Well, hey, I'm not going to give you any shit about that, all right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'll give it a full prize just because the performances, story-wise, I mean, it was uh, – it, it just felt really like, you know, you could show this to anybody. And I, and I think it would hook them immediately as far as uh, just, you know, sympathizing with this character, you know, having to deal with all this shit in her life and being so young. And, and there is something in there to where, you know, you can easily identify with her in some ways, just just trying to find who you are. And, uh, uh, but you know, uh, other than that, yeah, the performances, the directing, I mean, wow. I don't know who directed this film, by the way, but it's the first time as well. Oh, wow. Really? Well, Hey, uh, uh, Nice alliterative. I'll give him a indeed. nice curly salute. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I would easily recommend this to anybody uh, who's looking forward to seeing a movie uh, with this type of uh, subject matter. So yeah, easily full price. You know, the the, the number one thing I think that's going to bring this film to a lot of people's attention you know, later in you know in 2012 when everyone finally has a chance to see it comes out on DVD is that there's so many great debuts here. Yeah. Like I said, the director writer D. Rees. I mean, wow, we're mm -hmm. talking about right out of the starting gate, knowing exactly the movie they wanted to do the only fear is mm -hmm. what if they've just been working on this one thing <laughs> so long a lifetime in the making nailed it <laughs> he's, he's he started right after in yeah. color went off the air <laughs> we're gonna do a story about two therapists at the turn of the century yeah <laughs> uh, but then like i said kim wayans like might as well be starting for the first time because she's right. never oh, yeah. done anything like this before mm. and then of course adapero i'll do his <laughs> <laughs> plays the lead character Lee yeah. she's remarkable she's, she's so oh, yeah good. she she's, is she's just a find i mean you know right off the bat that you're looking at someone who's we're gonna see in other stuff mm, it'd be yeah. terrible if we didn't uh it's definitely a full price film i can't you know it's uh, people are hearing us describing going i don't want to see that like yes you do yes you do you do oh, want to yeah. see it it really is that good it manages to get past any of the things that that hollywood usually thinks we need to enjoy a movie and just wow it just delivers in in such a simple sweet and honest mm -hmm. way it's just a movie about real people and you can't help but there's too few films that do that right exactly oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so yeah so here's a bunch of fake people signing <laughs> <Yeah>. out <laughs> more than likely we'll get raped yeah <laughs> at the end